Good morning, brothers and sisters. Before I begin, may I thank General President Hoffa and General Secretary Treasurer Kegel for this opportunity today. My name is Joe Sterkowitz. I'm a lead ramp worker with United Airlines at Chicago's O'Hare International Airport. Yeah. I'm here today to proudly tell you that my dream of becoming a Teamster is finally going to come true. Last year, our brothers and sisters at Continental joined the Teamsters. Soon, we will unite with them. During my career, United Airlines ramp workers have been represented by the machinists. Or should I say not represented? At the new United, the world's largest airline, we want union representation that creates solidarity. We want union representation that has vision. We want union representation that fights for its members, the Teamsters. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, for years I have patiently been waiting for this opportunity to stand here today and address this amazing convention is the apex of my 32-year airline career. <laughs> On behalf of more than 6,800 ramp cargo and operations agents at United Airlines, we are proud and honored to soon join forces with more than 7,400 Continental Fleet Service Teamsters. <laughs> Together, we will all become part of the 1.4 million member Teamster family. Now, may I thank President and Principal Officer of Local 781, Paul Stripling, and International Organizer, Greg Chalkley, for their support and leadership during our organizing campaign. And finally, may I commend every single Teamster in this building, for you are the strength and power that generates thunder and lightning, which reverberates throughout the entire nation. Thank you, Teamster. Teamster member. Yes. <laughs> My name is Amanda Camaro. I've been a fleet service member for four and a half years at Continental Airlines in Newark, New Jersey. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also a shop steward. I've been a shop steward for a year and a half. And um, I am also a proud member of Local 210 in New York City. <laughs> On July 7th, Continental and United workers will begin voting on whether to join the Teamsters or the Machinists. <laughs> the Continental workers are already Teamsters, but because of the merger between United and Continental, we have to have another election. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you this. We already know who's gonna win. All right? Teamsters all the way. All right? United workers are currently represented by the machinists, and they are not happy. United workers want a union that will represent them against management when there are problems on the, on, on the rise. This election is about building a stronger future together as the world's largest airline and about building a strong Teamsters Union at United. 
The Teamsters represent more than 65,000 aviation workers at dozens of carriers. Since we became Teamsters in February of 2010, we have already seen major, major improvements. Late last year, we ratified our first contract ever, our first Teamsters contract. We've already received our first raise, and guess what? We're getting our next raise in three days, July 1st, 2011. We have seen firsthand already what Teamster Power is all about. We have the backing of a strong aviation union. We have been reaching out to our united brothers and sisters to educate them about the Teamsters. On August 11th, when the voting is all over, the 14,300 fleet service and ramp workers at the New United will become Teamsters members. And on a final note, I just want to tell you all one thing. The horse is on our logo. We are the only members in this union that can hold those reins on those horses. We are the only ones. We are Teamsters. We are united. Thank you, thank you, and thank you.